right back, buddy, all right? Hi. How are you doing? Aaron Santos? That's correct. Good. 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 Mr. Clements? Yes. So is this him? That's him. It's the guy, huh? Okay. Bring him up. Bring him up. Nathan? Hi, I'm Mr. Clemens. Okay, I'm gonna be your dean. All right, bud? Millwood welcomes you. Okay. You okay? Okay. Let's, um, let's get him inside. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, Nathan, you're all set. Now, Mr. Clemens will take it from here. He's got my card, so call me for anything, okay? Okay. All right, buddy, be good. Mr. Clemens, I thank you for everything you've done. Oh, nonsense, really. It's a part of who I am. These children, they're top priority at Millwood. Glad to hear that. Yeah. Remember what I told you. All right, have a good day. Drive safe. Nathan? Here we are. This is your room, Nathan. Okay? I'll take your things. You can give me that jacket. That's it. You actually are not going to need this anymore. Okay? So, for now it's gone. This is where you can actually keep all your personals in here. Nathan, you can keep all your personals in here. You sit down. Okay? Latrine is actually down the hall and to the right if you need to use the bathroom. Okay, buddy? So, here's the deal, big guy. Right now, the children are in class. But I'm going to give you the remainder of the day. You can sit down, settle in, okay? Breathe, okay? Just get your head on straight for us. And tomorrow, a woman named Judy's going to come by. She's going to say hi. So, is there anything else you need right now? No. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, by the way, this. See this stuff right here? This is your Millwood uniform. You will wear it every day. Except for today, we're gonna give you that pass. All right. So, if you get hungry, you can actually take the elevator to the bottom floor, or you can actually just walk right across to the main building. Either way, you'll get to the cafeteria. Nathan! Either way, you'll get to the cafeteria, okay? You understand? Okay. Mom, can we get a dog? Nathan, there comes a huge responsibility with getting a dog. I'll see you then, and walk in. I know. Look, when your dad and I get back from our trip, we'll talk about it. Hey, big guy. Hi, Dad. Listen, we need you to be a really good guy for the next couple of days, okay? You're gonna be the man of the house without technically being the man of the house. And if everything goes okay, when we get back, we'll talk more about getting that four-legged furry canine thing that you want for the house, okay? I love you, Dad. Love you too. Good night, honey. Mom, can I call you for a while? Just a little while. 
Ethan? Hi. I'm Judy. I'm going to be your guidance here at Millwood. Can I sit? Yes. How are you doing? You hanging in there? What do you mean you're my guidance? Oh, well, that just means that I'm here to help you. So whatever you need, if you want to talk or go outside, whatever you want to do, I'm here for you, okay? I have to go to a new school. Unfortunately, yes. But you are going to meet so many new friends here. I already have friends. I'm sure you do, but isn't it always fun to meet new ones? Hey, are you hungry? Yeah. All right, good. I know just the place to go. Come on. Where is everyone? Where is everyone? You know they're in school. You get the special treatment today. Dino! Hello, oh, old man. Judy, what's happening? Sweetheart? Who's this little fella guy here? This is Nathan. Yeah, well, Nathan. How are you doing there, buddy? This is his first day, so we gotta give him a special treatment. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right, come on. Come on, mate. Let me show you what old Dino worked up for you today. You know, and today, you know, today's your special day. Do you know why? Because today, I'm going to let you into my kitchen and you're going to see all of Dino's secrets. But you got to do me a favor. You can't tell anybody what you see. Because if you do, I'm going to be in trouble. So you got to keep it a secret, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, today I whipped up a big banquet. And you know what I made? I made the world's famous lasagna. Yeah. And my mother's world's famous macaroni and cheese. Wait. And my father's world famous pizza. How do you like that? Mm -hmm. Everything's world famous? Yeah. Yeah, you little. Yeah, yeah, everything's world famous. You know? And that's why you can't tell anybody now. You gotta keep it a secret. Because if it should ever get out that all of Dino's food is world famous, I would be the man all over the world. And then I would have to. I, I would pass out from cooking so much. <laughs> so we got a deal. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, great. All right. So what, what would you have to tell? What do you like? Macaroni and cheese. Uh, good choice. How about you, Judy? I'll have the same. Same thing. All right, so I'm going to get two macaroni and cheese, right? You sit down and enjoy it, right, kid? Okay. And you remember, it's world famous, too. Where's my dishes? Good, huh? So, Nathan, what do you like to do? I don't know. You don't know? Come on, there's got to be something you like to do. Like games? Yeah, I like to play games and stuff. What kind of games? Mm, video games, games outside, like hide and go seek. I love hide and go seek. No, I'm serious. I was actually really good at hide and go seek when I was your age. Of course I'm good at those things. Well, why not? Because you're a girl. Girls don't like to get into creepy areas where no one would find them. Okay, you might have a point there, but I was really good at it. No. Yeah. All right, so this is the deal. We're gonna finish up your mac and cheese. I'm gonna take you to your new classroom. You're gonna meet your new teacher and all the classmates, okay? And then we're gonna meet back up tomorrow at two o'clock, okay? Can I just skip class today? No, you can't just skip class today. Come on, you're gonna meet your new classmates. Don't you wanna make new friends? I guess. I'll tell you what, I'm not very hungry. And Dino gave me this so that I can give you my macaroni and cheese for later. How does that sound? Thanks. You're welcome. Boys, today we are discussing Abraham Lincoln, who was the 16th president of the United States. He was the first Republican 
President. Yes? Hi, Miss Churchill. This is Nathan Perry, your new student. Welcome, Nathan. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? And don't forget about that snack in your bag. I won't. Okay. Thanks, Miss Churchill. Introduce yourself, Nathan. I'm Nathan. Nathan what? Nathan Perry. Boys, let's show Nathan Perry the Millwood Spear. Good afternoon, Nathan Perry. Nathan, you can take the empty seat in the middle. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States. Can anyone tell me who shot Abraham Lincoln? Trevor? John Wilkes Booth. And what was John Wilkes Booth's occupation? Trevor? He was an actor. Can anyone tell me what currency has Abraham Lincoln's face on? All right, so two days and we'll be back. Okay, big guy? Hi, Mr. Perry. Hey, Kyle, how's your parents? They're good. Good. Don't worry, Mr. Perry, Nathan's safe with me. All right, thanks, Kyle. And when I get back, we'll see if you're any stronger. You're on. All right, be good. How many times can you tell me to be good? Not enough. <laughs> Come on, Kyle, we're going to be late for school. Come on, let's go. like it's a game, all right? A real game. I want you to try to do it at speed. Nathan, why don't you jump up here, Nathan? Okay, I want you to do it, yes, follow the camera, okay? All right? Oh, nice job. Good job. Good job. Okay, settle down, everyone. Vanessa, could you please read paragraph one of chapter four? The life cycle of a butterfly is in four stages, the egg, larva, pupa, and adult. It's actually pronounced larva, Vanessa. What is the larva, Miss Falconer? The larva is the caterpillar stage. That stage lasts about two weeks to a month. And the elusive flowers too, right? Yes. Nathan, could you come with us, please? Take your things. Hey, Nathan, I'm Detective Connor, but you can call me Mark, though, okay? Detective Mark has a couple of questions for you. Nathan, do you know where your parents are going today? My mom said she was going to get us a bigger house so I could have a dog. Can I see my mom and dad? I'm sorry, but there's been an accident. Mr. Perry! I do not tolerate tardiness, laziness, jokers, underachievers, or anyone else who isn't paying attention in my class. If you fall under one of those categories again, you will be heading straight to the dean. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Good. She forgot loses. <laughs> <laughs> now, referring back to the text, who is the Democratic candidate in the election between Abraham Lincoln? Uh, 
All right, come on, kids. Let's move it up there. There we go. There you go. There you go, kid. Enjoy your lunch there. There you go. How you doing there? You right? There you go. There you go. Hi, I'm Tommy. This is Trevor and Jason. Hi. Hey. Nathan. You want to sit with us? How come you're not eating? Not hungry. I guess you're not hungry, you don't eat, right? You can have my jello if you want. I don't like the way it feels between my teeth. I saw you come into class today. Miss Churchill's class? Yeah, I'm in that class. I'm kind of in the front. Miss Churchill says I have a hearing problem, so I gotta be closer to her. Man, she really gave it to you today. She really mean? Just do what I do. Don't say a word. You okay? I'm sorry. I think I left a piece of bread over here. Oh, there it is. Hey, you ain't throwing my foot around like it's mud. You little trouble making it. Nathan? Nathan, do you, um, do you know why you're sitting in that chair right now? Because I threw jello in Moose's face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Throwing jello, starting a fight, and not paying attention in class. But Bruce threw a piece of jello. You took a bowl of jello and you shoved it in someone's face. <laughs> that could be put down for assault, for all you know. Nathan, now look, I know your situation, okay? It's, it, it's hard, it's hard. I understand, but life goes on. I'm gonna talk to Judy tomorrow, but until then you, you have lost all outside privileges. Dinner will be brought to you, so you can escort yourself back to your quarters. Now. And uh, please shut my door on your way out. Please don't do this to him. You can't do this And why to not, him. Judy? He's broken rules. He's abused students. Broken rules? Abused? You've got to be kidding me. All right here on paper. Mr. Clements, please. This little harmless boy needs someone. He just lost both of his parents. The worst thing you can do to someone in this state is isolate them. He needs fresh air. He needs to be able to socialize. 
He needs to be a kid. Judy, you've been, you've been working for us, what, about four months now? And I like having you at Millwood, I do. You see, you, you fit in War Day, working with the newly admitted. I don't think Nathan fits in okay, War Day. just stop it right there. Nathan has been nothing but an angel since the minute that I met him. I'm the one that's hired to evaluate these students, to make sure that they're properly treated and ready for public housing. I'm the one that is to evaluate them. And here you are telling me that you're the one that evaluated him and made your decision to send him to Ward B? I've had one day with Nathan. One day. That's hardly enough time for evaluation from me or you or anyone. Okay. You are correct, Judy. You were hired to evaluate the children war day. Okay. So, I want the recorded sessions to start immediately and I want a full evaluation report on my desk when, when you are finished. Oh, and Judy, if Nathan doesn't improve by the end of the week, I will have to finish my evaluation early. Thank you. Nathan, I need to record these sessions, okay? That's okay. Okay, great. You'll be a movie star someday. I need you to state your full name and your age for me. Nathan Perry, 11 and a half. And what's your favorite color? Orange. I like orange. It's a fun color. Why is that your favorite? It's the first color I saw when I opened my first box of crayons. Well, that's a memory that you have. Do you think about things from the past a lot? Do you have a dog? I do have a dog. Do you like dogs? Yeah. Is it a he or a she? It's a girl. What's her name? Jessie. Nathan, did you have a dog? I was, I was going to. Okay. Nathan, I want you to know that your parents are always with you. Always. Every step you take, every day, they're there and they're watching over you. My mom used to tell me that. She's right, honey. Okay, she's always there with you. Nathan, what are you feeling? Are you sad? Or angry? At anyone? At your parents? Or you can tell me. I'm done talking. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna shut this off. And why don't we go outside? Does that sound good? Yeah? Yeah. Great, let's go. Here.
what? That's Ward B. It's Ward B. It's for bad kids. We're not supposed to talk about Ward B. Why not? We're just not. It's haunted. No, it isn't. It is. Before my dad went away, he told me. It's just something nobody talks about. You'll go there, and you won't come back. Hey, thought you tried to do the first thing? Talking to you, why'd you do that? I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. You told on me. You're the most scared little rat. You scared, loser? I'm a loser. Would you call me? I'm not sure what to do with you, Nathan. I'm really not this bad. Not this bad? Oh, okay. Is... is that what this is? Nathan, are you bad? Hmm? Is... is that what this is about? No. Right. Look. I just... I have so many emotions. I, I just don't think it's the proper time for your punishment. Okay? But I will tell you this much. See, as of right now, you are confined to your room. Meals will be brought to you. You will have to ask to use the latrine. Any movement you make, you need permission. Clear? Yes, sir. <clears throat> You're dismissed, you can leave. Nathan Perry. Due to the fact that there are no siblings, nor parents of the deceased, and zero arrangements in the will, I have no other option but to assign full custody of yourself to the Millwood Treatment Facility for Young Adults.
What happened last night? I almost died. How? How did you almost die? I, I can't swim. What do you mean you can't swim? Were you in water? I thought you were calling me. Why would you think that I was calling you? I heard your voice calling me and then I saw Tommy. About last night, what else happened? I fell in and they were all trying to get me. Who? The kids. Nathan, you just had a bad dream. No, it was real. I talked to Mr. Clemens. You did? I did. And he feels the same way that I do. What's that? That your happiness is what matters most. I have a surprise for you. Okay, wait right here and don't peek, okay? I'll be one minute. Keep her here, but I can bring her to visit you all the time. How does that sound? Awesome! Oh, come on. Come on, Jess. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, my God. Come on. 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 It's a pleasure to meet you, Nathan. Hi. Carl takes care of all the landscape around here. So all the trees and the flowers, that's all Carl. You take care of all of it? Every bit of it, all by myself. There's the, the lawns that I have to manicure, and I, I'm weeding all of the flower beds, and, the, and I, I trim those shrubberies on the main driveway coming into this place. Pretty cool, huh? So Carl, we're gonna go but I have a whole basket of apples from, for you oh, in my office. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Judy. Thank you. No problem. I went apple picking, you so they're the good kind. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later, okay? All right, let's go. Nice meeting you, Nathan. Bye. Come on, Jess. Did you have fun? Yes. Good. I'm glad. She's a good dog. She is, and she likes you a lot. Strong dog. Very strong. Listen, I'm gonna bring Jesse back again to see you, I promise, okay? And I'll see you later today. Okay. All right? Bye. Bye. I'll see you soon. I think it was. I'm not sure. Maybe I was 
I was wrong. Hmm? What do you think? Oh, nothing. Uh, I knew it. I've got to go ahead. No, 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 no. It's, it, we're here. It's right here. It's right behind us. You, you haven't been so good, have you, Nathan? Have you? Tell me, what's, What's your next class, hmm? Hmm? Answer me. Judy! Uh, I'm meeting her at lunch, and then we're going to her, her office after. Well, you better, you better get to lunch. Go ahead. Why were you late today? I got lost. Have you been sleeping okay? Not really. I don't like this place. I know you don't. But you're gonna get through this. You're strong, Nathan. Can you help me? That's why I'm here. I want to help you. What do you need me to help you with, Nathan? I want to run away. What happened? I don't like some of the people here. Want to know a secret? Neither do I. But that's why we've got each other. You can get through this. I promise. Well, it's getting late. Yeah. Charles, do you happen to have Nathan's physical evaluation on you? Mr. Clemens, on time as usual. As a matter of fact, I do have it. Great. Busy today? Nothing out of the ordinary. Right. Let's see what you got. Making a decision today, are we? Well, that actually depends. What is your opinion on the matter? My opinion on the matter is, whatever you decide is probably the right way to go. Where's all my stuff? Where's my stuff? Well, we've actually decided to move you to a bigger room. I like it here. We have a much better place for you, Nathan. 
You'll be all right. Come with us. Come on. Let's go, okay? Okay. Too late for that. You're confused and you need help. Okay? Doctor. Where's all my stuff? I told you, you don't need your things here. But I want them. Your things are safe. Until you are ready for the outside world, this is where you'll stay. Okay? We've assigned you a private tutor. Someone will take you quickly tomorrow to meet her before your physical with Dr. Charles. Tomorrow, Nathan. Tomorrow, everything will be much better, you'll see. Okay. Okay. We have those for now on. Good night. I'm sorry, the right? I have full authority in this establishment. Oh, so that's it? See you later, you're not needed anymore? Judy. Is that how this is going? Judy, you are here to evaluate the newly acquired. That's all. Get it? Once I feel the evaluation on your behalf is complete, I will take it into consideration and I will make my final decision. Why are you doing this? I've already received Dr. Charles' physical evaluation and his Ooh, mental opinions Dr. Charles. yesterday. Oh, wonderful. So in other words, my opinions never mattered. As of right now, Catherine Rizzo will be taking care of Nathan's education. Catherine Rizzo. It's real great. I think Catherine Rizzo is more than qualified, okay? We will contact you when you're needed for another evaluation so you can actually leave now. This isn't over. I said you can actually Leave. This isn't over. Nathan Perry? Um, you are Nathan Perry, right? Yes. My name is Ms. Rizzo. That's Ms, not Mrs. How many chapters did you read last night, Nathan? None. None. You know you have an entire essay due on that book by next week. I suggest you get started. You think this is a summer camp? Huh? Answer me. Math, history, these are subjects that we're starting with. Bring them with you to class every week. Will I still see Judy? You're not gonna see Judy anymore in here, sweetheart. This is Ward B. But I need okay, to- Hey, if you itch! If you have any questions pertaining to work, you come to me. Do you understand? Yes. Come in. Are you ready for him? Put your head up. Take your books. Have pride in your work. Well, you're dismissed. Nathan, how you holding up there, buddy? How come I have to do this again? Well, we want to make sure everything is okay and there are no changes. How long have you been a doctor? Well, you see, my family has been in medicine for generations. 
Now, I'm going to do you a major favor. The kids hate these because they get so cold. Now watch what I do for you. Now why don't you lift your shirt up for me? Lift it up, don't be afraid. Okay. Take some deep breaths in and out. In and out. You, my friend, are all set. I want you to come with me. Oh, have a seat. Would you like one? No. Okay. Why don't you wait here but I go get someone to take you back to your room? What are you doing? I got lost. I thought I was supposed to go to my room. You don't go anywhere without supervision. Do you understand? Come on. It's time for some daylight. Judy, everything okay? No, it's really not. What happened? I gotta go. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Excuse me, you can't talk to these kids. Excuse me, I am a child therapist here. I need a minute, thanks. You were a child therapist here. I need a minute. Where are you going? It's okay. I just had to grab some things. I'm gonna work on getting you out of here, okay? Okay. Nathan, I need you to take this and I need you to hide it. You need to keep that somewhere safe where no one will find it. And you call me if you need me for anything. Okay? I'm gonna get you out of here, Nathan, I promise. You're gonna be okay. Bye.
okay? Yeah, something's wrong here. Is it haunted? I think so. Wait here. Take this. Where did you get this? I took it from the kitchens. You never know what can happen. What's going on over here? Hmm? Tommy? You know the rules between both words, don't you? Yes. I'll speak to you later. You're dismissed. Go. All right, let's get these kids in line. Let's get them back in. Not you. What's behind your back? Nothing. Nothing? What is this? Nothing? Is this nothing? Why the fuck do you have a knife? I don't know. He just gave it to me. We will talk inside. We will. Let's go. Hello, Nathan. I wanted to personally bring you your lunch. Are you going to make things difficult, Nathan? Hmm? Because you can make this easy, or you can choose the wrong road. Your story is your choice. Remember that. I want to go back. I want to see Judy. That's not possible right now. Why? Why? Because if you want to keep your privileges like going outside, you will cooperate. That's why. So shut up. Somebody would be by in 20 minutes to bring you to Miss Rizzo's classroom. You understand? So be ready. How much more do I have to read? Read to the end of the third chapter, then take the practice quiz. Can I pull a pencil then? You will always come prepared to my class. Say it. I will always come prepared to your class, Miss Rizzo. Start with the first chapter and then do the 10 practice questions. It's not brain surgery. I'm not good at math. Then now's a perfect time to focus on it, isn't it? Will I see Judy after? You could. But Judy doesn't want to help you anymore. I'm not doing this. I need to get out of here. Sit down, Nathan. No, I'm going to see Judy. Sit down now. Listen to me. You act up in my class again, you'll have a lot more to worry about than a goddamn math quiz. Do you understand that? Yes. <laughs> what? Good. Now study. Mr. Clemens, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Things are actually unfolding nicely today. And how is our friend Nathan? Kids will be kids. Right, kids. Right. So, Nathan has hygiene next. I have a nurse coming up to get him, okay? Great, great, he'll be ready. Oh, and Catherine, make sure you come to my office once you're done. Good day. Hurry up. It's your family. It's a cute dog. Unfortunately, we don't do art in Ward B. Stop crying and focus on your work.
come from? Where did you come from last night? You appeared in my room. What happened to you? I'm gonna kill you! Help! Help me! Help! Somebody help me! Hey. Not only did you disobey orders about contact between both wards, but you hid a deadly weapon from the Millwood faculty. You understand that? Good. So, as of right now, you're admitted into Ward B. No! Hmm, yes. Dr. Charles will be giving you a psychological and physical evaluation. I, I wasn't thinking! You're right, Tommy. You weren't thinking. You don't think. That's the problem with you. So, we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it one way or the other. We're going to fix it. Come on. You will be coming with me. Nathan, Daryl suffers from extreme delusional symptoms. Do you know what that means? Huh? Oh. He sometimes sees things that he can't control. Where did he come from? Well, sometimes we have to put people in separate rooms for further testing. And then we keep a watchful eye on them to make sure the treatment is working. Meaning, Sometimes he doesn't think correctly, and we have to help him out. I don't want him in my room. We've already moved him out. I'm, I'm okay, you know. I'm fine. Oh, we know that, Nathan. Can I go to the bathroom? I feel kind of sick. How you doing there, Nathan? I'm fine. Yeah, you look good. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, Nathan. Would you like some help? Hmm? Um, no. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
This is Tracy. Dr. Charles. And who do we have here? This is Tommy. Hello, Tommy. Welcome to Ward B. Y'all gonna love it here. I wanna take good care of you. Come with me. God, are you okay? I don't know. Something, things are happening here. What's going on there? Tell me what is going on there. Yeah. I think they keep people in the basement. In the basement? Nathan, look. I have to go. I have to go. Nathan, wait. Okay. I need proof. Okay. Are you all set, Nathan? I'm gonna go get someone to bring you back to your room. Okay, Nathan, come with me. Catherine, whose car is that? It's hers. Good morning, Mr. Clemens. Good morning, Mr. Clemens. Kim, what are you doing here? Uh, just helping Judy with her stuff. Where is she? Where did she go? Hmm? I, I don't know. She just left a few minutes ago. Right. This way, that way. Get something? Actually, yes, Catherine, I did. Well, you must have also forgotten that you're no longer employed here. Thank you, Catherine, for being the one to remind me of that. Well, we're all gonna miss that smart mouth of yours, Judy. Just remember this. The next time we see you on this property, it will be considered trespassing. Catherine? I don't like you. And I'm on to you. Yeah. So let me make myself perfectly clear. If anything happens to Nathan, or any of those other kids, Nathan. Nathan, I will personally kick your fucking ass. Judy! Judy! Excuse me, but you mind telling me what the hell you were doing? I was just trying to find that out. Well, since everyone must know, I'm picking up my things. These are my things. I do have an office here. You have no right being here. I have all the right. These are my things. I clearly stated 
We will call you when you are needed. Did I not? Did I not? I heard it. Oh, clearly you heard it. Let me tell you something. You people need all the help in the world. I've seen these kids. I've seen the ones in the next building over, and something is seriously wrong here. Thank you for that assessment, and I'll keep it in mind. Well, you can smirk at me all you want, but I will find out what's going on. And when I do, we're both done. That's, that's it. That's, you know what? As of right now, you are terminated! You're done! Do you want this? Badge. Give me a badge. Give me a badge. Your badge. Badge. I will drop it off. Enjoy your time together, you fucking psychos. Badge, please. Badge. Get away from my car. Badge. What is this in your hand? What are you playing with? Put your hands on your knees. Keep them like that. Yeah, that's right. You belong here. Nowhere else. No one else wants you. What are you looking at? Look down. Eyes on the ground. Uncross your hands. Julie, don't tuck your head in. Look up like a man. What are you? I said look down. You don't look up. What are you doing? What do you have? Let me check you. What is this? You're a mess. How do you come out here? You're a mess. you look down. Formation, line up. Single file. Stop on the line. Face forward. You, what are you doing? Formation, let's go. Move, let's go. Nathan. Make sure you wash your hands. Let's go, hustle.
Santos, Mr. Clemens, and what do I owe this one? I just came to see how things are going with Nathan Perry. Do you have a second? Um, yeah, sure. So, how's he doing? Um, he's doing quite well. He's actually in class right now, hanging in there. Oh, well, good. And the rest of the kids? Fine. Everyone here at Millwood is doing fine. Good. I'm glad to hear everything's going well here. <sighs> Mr. Santos, is there something I can help you with? No, not at all. You know how it is. It's protocol. Right. If someone like Nathan goes through a recent tragedy like this, I want to make sure everything's going fine for him. Sure. I, I agree. We can just continue this way. Carl. Carl. This is Aaron Santos with DCF. Department of Child and Family. Oh, a, a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. How are things? Uh, it's never ending. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. So, Mr. Santos came to see how Nathan and the other children were doing. Oh, he's, he's doing great. He's a great kid. They all are. A real, real sorrow what happened to his family, I mean. Well, I'm sure with everyone's help, we can help him through these tough times. Of course. Well, I don't want to keep you, so... Well, it's great meeting you. Take care. We'll go this way, Aaron. So, if there's anything you guys need, you let me know? I will definitely have you on mind. Drive safe.
this happen? What did you do? What is this, Nathan? Huh? What is this? What did you do? I fell. You, f you fell? Don't give me that bullshit, you fell? Why was your door unlocked, huh? Tell me that one. Why was your door unlocked? I don't know what you mean. I bet you don't know what I mean. You screwed up major! You ready? Stop! 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 him. It's working. Good. Come on, we don't have much time. Let's get him out of here. Come on. It's time. He's waking up. Good. Mr. Clemens, I believe we can take this from here. Oh, I want to be here for this, so... Mm -hmm. now, 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 Nathan. Now, now. Nathan, do you hear me? It's no use. Okay, it's too late. Mr. Clemens, I think it might be better if you just step to the side. Okay. Nurse Tracy.
Judy, Judy told me I needed proof. She, she said that was the only way to help me. She, she wrote me a letter. It, it said that a camera was hidden near the playground. It was under a pile of leaves near the tree over the bridge. I knew that breaking the window would get me into trouble, but, but I had no choice. And, and that's when I, that's when I saw him. He, he had this kid.